A bitter battle between neighbors, a couple claiming it all started with a car parked in front of their house. But now it's getting worse, and they're calling Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. One of the great things about a newborn baby, every day brings something different. He rolled over for the first time yesterday. <laughs> no sleep, oh. ever. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea and Matthew are living a life they dreamed of. A new baby, a new house. Yeah. But of course, since they're on Help Me Howard, a new headache. Where they're constantly using our house as a parking spot, a permanent parking spot for their vehicles. The neighbors who live across the street in a house over did not park their third vehicle in front of their own house or in their driveway. They park it in front of the Bansons, morning, noon, and night. I just want them to leave us alone. And if they want to use their SUV, they would take another car behind it and wait and rotate it so that there's constantly a vehicle in front of my house. The question, of course, why? It's, it's a game for them. It's absolutely, we, we see them bragging to the other neighbors how much fun it is. I, I don't know, I, they I like don't to, understand. They almost like to taunt us. Andrea went to talk to her neighbor before her baby was born. Please, let's end this. I'm about to have a baby. We're going to have family over. He laughed at me. Then it got worse. Andrea says their neighbor has threatened them. Coral Springs police have been called several times. The neighbors accused Andrea of writing a nasty message directed at them in her driveway. And they accuse us of vandalizing vehicles. When someone keyed the neighbor's car parked here, they blamed Andrea and Matthew, who say they didn't do it. But the neighbors left signs on their SUV accusing them of being bullies. The same thing Andrea and Matthew accused them of being. Why don't you just park in front of their house? I don't want to play their game. In this Coral Springs area, neighbors share mailboxes. The postman is required to stay in the vehicle to deliver mail and can't back up. For the neighbor's car parked here, Andrea can't get her mail delivered, meaning she goes days without getting mail. It goes in spurts, so one day we went four days, one day we went two days. Andrea asked her association to split her mailbox from her neighbor and put it in front of her house where the neighbor parks, hoping it would get him to move his car. When the neighbor found out, Andrea says, he wasn't happy. I don't feel comfortable even being out front. We don't even come out front anymore. Are you afraid of it? Yeah, I am. Well, Howard, got a legal solution? In many cities, it's illegal to park in front of a mailbox, but it's okay in Coral Springs. However, in this association, according to their own documents, no homeowner can do anything that interferes with another owner's enjoyment of their property. And not getting their mail delivered interferes. I'm Patrick Frazier with Channel 7, helping me Howard. I went to talk to the neighbor, Paul DeMaltis, to find out why he liked to park in front of someone else's house. He wasn't in the mood to explain. His attorney told us the DeMaltises were not moving their cars. The Postal Service did look into Andrea's request and will allow her to move her mailbox to the middle of her yard. But legally, the neighbor can still block her mailbox and force her to go to the post office to get her mail. Howard says that's why Andrea needs to go before a judge. This is escalating, and if it doesn't stop, someone will get hurt. If the judge listens to this case, they will obviously see how absurd it is. And I believe they will order the neighbor to stop parking in front of their house. See the mailbox needs to be Andrea and Matthew will go to court to get their mail and their peace of mind. You feel kind of helpless, like you can't do anything. Parking in front of your neighbor's house for whatever the reason. A lot of words to describe this helped me, Howard, starting with childish, the silly things people do to each other. A ridiculous situation ruining your peace of mind? Need a grown-up solution? Park it with us. We have the keys to solving it. It's called common sense. With this Help Me Howard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.